Good morning. It is 3 a.m. <clears throat> and yes, um, those of you who wake up at these times of night or are still up, um, I want to talk about... <clears throat> Good morning. I'm going to talk about something important. I'm going to be serious in this live and talk about something serious. And I'm going to do this video regardless, but I figured I'd go live while I do it because... Some people can get the message while we're live. So I'm going to make this a serious one. I'm going to talk about this. And I'm going to talk about the dark side of being a light worker. Okay. So um, light workers, empaths, star seeds, people who are highly sensitive, people who go through experiences like, you know, um, people who experience empathy, people who are star seeds, people who are indigos or... Um, psychics or whatever I'm going to talk about this the dark side of being a light worker when you're a light worker naturally the first thing that you're going to experience is you get put into dark families um, dark jobs like your life you do a lot of your life ends up being you'll start off a, like darkness like even from a young child you'll experience dark things right um, a lot of maybe horrible things you probably go through child molestation you'll probably go through addictions and you'll have family members who are um, addicted and you'll you'll be in a dark family situation when you're a natural light worker empath right um, um, our job as light workers is to bring darkness to the light right so the only way we can ever accomplish this is by experiencing the darkness because even if we are light beings naturally if we just if we can't if we don't go through the darkness we will never hi soldier we will never um experience the darkness and we'll, we won't know how to turn that darkness into light right so some people who start off they're born light workers they're born star seeds what happens with them is they'll go through their whole lives and they'll be like in they'll be in dark situations right but then they know they don't they don't belong they don't feel like they belong there and they end up becoming like the one everybody picks on in the family or or like treats them like the bitch or whatever it is right um they they feel like the black sheep like they feel like they don't belong so most light workers when they start off as young um kids they're you know uh they're they empathic especially um empathic children and star seeds and light workers they always feel like it's their fault when something goes wrong they feel like it, they blame themselves for everything that goes wrong because um, you know, we're so empathic and so caring and so nurturing. We will blame ourselves for everything that goes wrong in our family. And if we can't fix it, we feel like we're wrong, right? So the dark side of being a light worker is the fact that in order for you to, to stay, to you start off in the dark, in the light, right? You, you're born, everything's fine. Then you experience something very dark. Like for me, for instance, it was when I was a young child, um, you know, some sexual stuff that happened, you know, I'm, I'm sure everybody went through that. I can talk about it easily today. It doesn't bother me. It doesn't hurt me anymore because I understand that things happen. Right. And, um, what happens is, so you start off as like a light being, you're born into this world as a star seed, as an empath, as a light worker, and then you go through some kind of darkness, which then turns you and, and you kind of see life like as in a dark side of it, right? Then you grow up and then again, you start to get in that light mode and you're light and you're airy and you're free. And then again, something dark will happen. Like me, the, I would say the age of eight, my father passed away. We came to America. I seen a dark side of life, right? Came to America. And then we came here for a while things were light and they were airy and they were cool and then again like around the age of like 18 19 things got a little dark for me and I started to see life in a different way right and then I got a little bit older and things got light so as a light workers we will constantly experience the light and the dark the light and the dark now what happens to some people and I have to stress this is that yeah, so exactly, King. Um, King says, I was molested from the summer into fifth fifth to sixth grade. You know how you feel. Funny that you talk about this. I'm so insecure about my writing if, if it's too dark. I'm going to tell you, soldier, another thing because I'm getting to that. Now, I told you, as light workers, we experience light and we experience dark. We experience dark and then we experience light, right? And through these experiences, what happens to us is that when we do something that 
um, I guess is moralistically wrong to society, we start to judge ourselves and we think that we're because as light workers and empaths and star seeds, we are always constantly trying to be perfect. We want to be perfect because we're we 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 tend to want to satisfy when people get around us if they're dark they come around us for our light they use our light they feel better around us and we give it to them we keep giving it to them because we want to please we want to satisfy why because we're born that way we're born as helpers as lovers of humans as lovers of animals as lovers lovers of everything so in order to become a full light worker some people now what happens in the process of their light working member you're born a light worker right and that's bringing darkness to the light and remember it's also bringing your own darkness to the light what is darkness people think it's evil demons killing no darkness is the shadow cells the parts of yourself that you're embarrassed to talk about like for instance i did a live earlier and i talked about some things that maybe people will I'm like, oh my God. But when I got to bed and I laid down, I was like, I love that side of me. Like all that stuff I experience is beautiful. It made me the person I am today. I, I'm stronger because of it. And I love the dark, sh the shadow side of me is what made me realize what a light being I am. Do you understand? For me to experience the fact that I went through the shadow self and still was a good person throughout it, and the only thing I did a lot of harm to myself, and yes, others, as a matter of fact, through these processes, through this journey, which I look at it now today as an experience, and I'm okay with it, but a lot of people, what happened to a lot of light workers is they got stuck in the darkness. You understand? Like they started playing with the darkness because they had to, because their mission was to come here as a light being, but then to be shown the darkness because if they didn't see the darkness and they didn't experience these dark things that happen right as a lay worker they didn't experience child molestation drug addiction abuse all that stuff they would never know that stuff exists because they would be so in the light that they would never know that stuff exists right so you're not cursed you just got put into the darkness for a reason because you were born to do the light working so as a light worker your mission was to experience all the darkness and you have to as a light worker know to get yourself out of it and I'll talk about how to get yourself out of it. I'm going to make this video not too long, just long enough for everybody to understand. So as light workers, a lot of them get stuck in that darkness. So, you know, some of them were born to experience drug addiction. Some of them were born to, born to experience child molestation. <clears throat> so a lot of people will go through that and then they'll end up like, you know, I don't know, becoming prostitutes and staying in that darkness or staying in the drug addiction or staying in the abusive relationship, staying with the narcissist and keep repeating the cycles over and over again and creating karmic cycles for themselves that they never had in the first place to begin with, that their soul wasn't supposed to experience when they came here. They were just exposed to experience the darkness a little bit so that they can turn the, the darkness into light, right? Even their own darkness into light. And when you become strong enough as a light worker, like I would say, is working on your own <clears throat> um Thank you, Hippie. I love you. He said, Flo, save me a few times. When you've experienced your own darkness and you can turn that into light, that's when you become a light worker. First, you have to work just like shamans believe that in order to heal others, you must heal yourself first. It is the same thing with empaths, light workers, and star seeds, okay? Remembering that we come here for a mission from before our soul even came, we chose. I will share this live. I will save it and share it. Um, we chose this mission. So as light workers, if you grew up up in a family that was dark and you felt like you were cursed and your family's cursed no 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 you were put there for a reason you were the light worker they needed the light in their home they needed somebody to teach them through their experiences and a lot of times we got blamed for stuff and yelled at all the time and everybody treated us like they're their little bitch that happened throughout our whole lives, right? And then growing up, you go through the darkness, the light, the darkness, the light, you'll experience things, depression, anxiety, you'll go through mental um, things and all because you don't know yet that you're a light worker. You don't know yet that you're empathic. So therefore you're confused and a lot of anxiety will come in and depression and anger and bitterness and all this stuff. But if you don't get yourself out of that darkness and out of that bitterness, out of that anxiety, out of that mental anguish, you will stay there. You'll stay in the darkness. But as a light worker, if you 
figure out, let's say for today, and you realize, oh my God, now I see what she's saying. I get it. Like that's happened to me my whole life. When you realize that, then you can turn that power into your own power. And then also remembering that all the shadow stuff you did when you were in the darkness was doing it to learn lessons. Instead of saying, oh, poor me, I went through this, I went through that. You can look at it now, like me. I can look at what I've done in a shadow self of myself and love everything I've done and say, you know what, Flo, I'm proud of you because if you didn't do that stuff and you weren't here today I would never know my power how would I know my power if I never got to experience that crazy stuff that I did and yes in the moments before when I was doing shadow work shadow work is looking at the shadow self seeing what you did and going oof I can't believe I did that I should have never done that should have could have would have but you did for a reason you're learning lessons and in order to, for you to learn those lessons you had to experience these dark parts of yourself you had to experience these dark relationships these dark energies these dark friends this the darkness that you had, that mean streak that you had at some point, or that bitchiness that you, or the gossiper in you, all of these things were for a reason. So that now today you can look back on on it, because when you start to learn that you're empathic, you're a star seed, and you start to learn that you're a light worker, and you start to understand this concept, you will then get it. Oh, I get it now. I know. No, you didn't do all that stuff because you're a bad person. You didn't go through all that because you're crazy. You weren't depressed because you didn't. You were weak. Empathic people, light workers, star seed. Actually, people think they're weak, but they're the strongest people ever. You know why they're the strongest? Because they attract darkness so much, and so many times, it could have broke them. And actually, it kills a lot of people. A lot of people commit suicide. A lot of people hurt themselves. A lot of people put damage on themselves because so many dark energies will try to come towards you because when you're the light, they try to come towards you. Once they feel better, they suck you dry and then they leave. But you haven't had the clue or known the power within you that you had, the light that it was around you. And so when people came around you, they were sucking you dry and you had no clue. But then when you started to understand that you were empathic and you understood you were a light worker and you look at your shadow self and say yeah I did I see I learned lessons from it you become empowered right and that's when you this light shines in you like for instance you can go back into that bucket of dark stuff like you can look back into the bucket of your shadow self like what that one day I did this that one day I did that that one day I did this and be okay with it like you can smile at the shit you did like <laughs> I did this. Oh my God. Oh my God. I got to live. Like maybe in other people's perspectives, it was a bad way of living. However, you've learned lessons from them. <clears throat> Today, I believe I, I attribute a lot of the knowledge that I'm able to give to others. Obviously, it's from learning, reading, listening, and, and, and working on myself. Yeah, but most of it is for the experiences I've had. How could I possibly help somebody today as a light worker get out of the dark and into the light if I never been to the dark side that they've been to? How can I tell someone, this is how you do it, blah, blah, blah. You're with a guy you don't want to leave. Like, oh, you have to be able, what up, Choco? You have to be able to have been in the darkness. Like, literally, I have seen hell on earth and been in it and actually enjoyed being there for a while and shit and places that I shouldn't have been and doing some grimy like hood shit like all that stuff I did for a reason to learn today that you know what Flo no you were never a bad person you were never a, a, a horrible person what you were was a light worker learning the darkness so that you can step back into the light because a lot of people that are in the darkness are going to come to me now and they're going to ask me for advice and how could I have given them advice today if I never experienced that darkness myself you have to experience experience that darkness in order for you to become a light worker. And so another reason another way you can stop from stop yourself from thinking there's something wrong with you and that you're cursed and that there's something wrong with you know your family generational curses. No, no honey, no sweetie. You were brought into this situation because you're a light worker. So if you feel like you're in a situation where why am I here? Like I'm not dark like these people. I'm not like these people. I feel so out of place. Like the people around you 
they're not on your vibrational level it's you have to learn boundaries and this is where my power came in the empowerment that i got today is from learning boundaries when i learned the boundaries that i learned about myself what i will and will not accept from others i then stepped fully into my power and today when someone approaches me they approach me with respect regardless of the past that you have regardless of the past that you have when someone sees that you conquered and you got through it they will respect and listen to what you have to say now there will be those people that will be like oh she did this and she did that those are people who are still in the dark and they don't understand that i've conquered darkness to get to the light they will never understand they will never know what it's like to walk through hell and come back to heaven you will never get it you can't even walk a day in the hell shoes that i've walked in and survive it you know there's people that can't survive it. there's people that go through it and they don't survive it and that's the thing that's why you have to be grateful for it so those dark sides those shadow sides of yourself you have to look at it and you have to appreciate and thank yourself for all the things you've seen and experienced because i'm going to explain something to you without those experienced guys you will never be the strong person you are today i can promise you if you do not set boundaries when these people come around you don't forget when their darkness finds the light you know what they do they come to you they eat the light they suck it out of you they suck it out of you then once they feel better they go away then all of a sudden they don't feel good again they come right back to you to suck it right back out from you and this is where light workers attract a lot of narcissistic people a lot of damaged people a lot of hurt people they will attract these types of people and so if you're attracting a lot of people like that and people keep coming to you and they dump all their shit on you all their problems on you why because they know you can take it and you know what you know you can take it too because how much in your life has somebody come to you and just dumped all their problems on you but you can't do that to somebody else because your problems are nothing like theirs their the, your problems in comparison to their problems are nothing alike your problems are on a deeper spiritual more empathic highly intuitive problem and their problems like more 3d and bullshit but they dump it on you because they see the light in you they know you could take it so i'm going to explain that to you right now if you do not create boundaries with spirit like i had to in the beginning of my shadow work my darkness when i started doing this work i had to tell spirit this is what I, what I will accept and what i will not accept and so if i had to tell spirit that i had to tell humans that too humans walking around on earth you will not speak to me like that you will not disrespect me and a lot of the, another thing that light workers have a problem with dealing with is telling the truth we like to tell the truth um, it comes out of us like word vomit and people think we're being judgmental or being no It's just that we we're light workers and we're not gonna deal with lies deceit um, Like if you're in a relationship and you're a light worker and somebody's lying to you You will know in a second you will literally find out two seconds later. You don't even need to check the voicemail or the email <clears throat> You don't need to check his text or none of that because the lie will come as soon as they're looking at you And they lie and you're looking at them and you just can you can you can smell the lies like it's like like literally like it's like a sense that you get it's so so strong right they and people that are in the dark right marty and people that are in the dark that's why we tend to stay quiet around others because they think we judge and exactly and people in the dark when you tell them the truth when you speak the truth to them they'll call you a snake they'll say you're a liar you're phony you're fake go lay down mimi i'm coming i'm right here bitch Okay, guys, um, like I said, okay, so I wanted to tell you guys that setting boundaries, creating boundaries for yourself, and making sure that, um, you know, you set those boundaries and you keep them. Do not allow, do not allow people to step on you. Don't let them take advantage of you. Don't let them take um, over you and don't let them ever, ever tell you that you're wrong or you're the crazy one or you're a snake or you're sneaky. No, I'm honest and the light that I shine is shining a light on your darkness and you can't handle it. So you need to step away from me. And even if you have spirit doing that with you, let them know. Okay? I love you guys. I hope that video was helpful. I think it was a lot of information. I love you guys so much. I'm saving this and I'll post it. Okay? Love and light to you guys.